Okay, this is my travel makeup and toiletries and this is as pared down as it's going to get. I am not taking any less than this. Um, I've been really, really good and this is everything that I'm taking. This is the makeup bag that I'm taking. It's just like a free Estee Lauder one from One, one Christmas or something. Um, but that's everything makeup wise. I think that's really, really restrained for me. So I'll get into that in a second. Um, this bag, which people will ask about, is from Glitzy Glam, which is Ellen Blair's website. I know I feel about 13, um, but I absolutely love it because having a name like Mikaela, which is Kyla is for short, um, it's not so easy to find things that are personalised, so I really like that. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about this because it's just there. This is the Garnier Intensive 7 Day, but it's the gel cream version rather than just the lotion version. And it's a small one, so it was just easy, plus I've probably only got about three quarters, half three quarters left. Um, and I've been moisturising up a storm recently because I felt so dry, so I might, I might even use this up whilst we're away. Empty it all out and put it away as I talk about it. That seems like a clever thing to do. Okay, uh, another thing I've been doing recently a lot is like firming and silly light type creams. So I'm taking this, which I've still not used, from a glossy box and it's the Clarins Extra Firming uh, Body Cream. So I thought I'll probably use that up in the time that I'm away because we're away for three or four nights. I always forget, I think it's three nights. Um, I think that's it for kind of body lotion wise and body creams and stuff. For hair, all I'm taking is this Aussie Miracle Moist little shampoo kind of travel size because my hair is so short now which I know I still haven't shown you but um, it was just so hot in the house I just had to put it up so I'm sorry you'll have to wait until my vlogs are up um, but yeah this I'm taking with me and it's just a really really nice moisturising shampoo I can't put conditioner on the ends now because it's so short so that's all I'm taking so I have my Liz Earl hot cloth cleanser and I have a hot cloth here a muslin cloth um, I have the Shoeumera 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 whatever, that one, <laughs> a little cleansing oil um, sachet, which I really like if, you, if I've got like a lot of makeup on or I feel like I need a real deep cleanse, the oils are a lot better for me. So I've got a little sachet of that if I feel like I've got a lot of makeup on one day or if it's just been a really hot day and I feel like I really need a deep cleanse. Another one I've got is this, which I think is Clearasil. It doesn't actually say anywhere on this, whatever. It's a wash and mask, so I'd probably just use this as a mask one night because I generally use face masks at least every other day. So rather than having to take a tub with me, I'm taking that. I'm also taking, I am also taking this Dermalogica Multivitamin Thermofoliant, which is a tiny little scrub that I got in a glossy box. Um, again, because I'm not taking my Clarisonic or anything like that, that's why I'm taking that. I have a couple of kind of serum type things. My Caudalie, which I'm almost out of, and I'm ashamed to say I have repurchased, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, oh, and another Caudalie, I didn't even know these were the same thing. Uh, the Cuddly Beauty Elixir, and then I have this Cuddly Serum, which I have a little bit left off, uh, which came in a glossy box, I think, a while ago. So I thought I'll use those up while I'm away. Um, eye cream, I have this Bliss All Around Eye Cream, which I have a tiny, tiny little bit left in. I might have even had this in an all-used-up video, because I didn't think there was anything left, but there is, so I'll take that. And also a tiny little sample of Icon by Benefit, which I've had in the past, a full size. Didn't like it, but hey-ho, got to use it up. Um, a little serum, BioEffect EF, EGF serum, sorry, um, which apparently is really, really expensive. It's this one. Um, not focusing, but there you go. Um, it's this one, and, you know, it's just like a serum. It's, you know, maybe it does something over time, I don't know, but apparently it's really expensive. Um, and this is the cream that I'm taking, the SK2 Skin Signature 1 which is from the Harrods Glossy Box. Really liked this cream. Took it with me on holiday last time, like to Las Vegas. And um, I told myself I'd leave the rest of it till um, I went on another little holiday. And so I'll probably use that up whilst we're away. And I have my Elizabeth Arden um, lip balm because I didn't want to take the whole eight hour cream. Perfume, I'm taking Love Struck by Vera Wang. I never use this and I kind of just, I overlook it. And it has the massivest, massivest, the largest, um, bottle top so I just took that off and it's actually quite compact this is just 30ml size but I really like this I bought it for my wedding and I think I've probably only worn it then but it smells so so nice moving on to the makeup bag which is obviously what you're all dying to see what I'm taking all this stuff again I'll just kind of throw it all out there so I can pack it back in I'm actually planning on doing my makeup wait get it in the shot um, I'm actually planning on doing my makeup out of this bag in the morning just to make sure that I've not forgotten anything, which is generally what I do. Um, 
I have my Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, which I really rate as something fantastic for warm weather to keep your foundation on your skin. Um, you will be surprised because I have the Healthy Mix Original Foundation. I wore this yesterday and it stayed on my face all day. All day. No shininess, nothing. And normally I absolutely love the serum and I've told everyone, you know, this is crap compared to the serum, get the serum, get the serum. But I might be coming around to this. So I'm taking this away with me because I liked it and because I want to give it a real good run and see how it is um, when I'm actually out of the house because I so rarely leave the house these days, it's just not even funny. Um, I have this little mini erase paste from Benefit in shade 2. It came in one of the little Benefit kits, so I thought I would take that. Um, an eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay, teeny tiny one, it's hardly got anything left in it. Um, I'm taking the 17 Miracle Matte Powder for blush, well I'll get into bronzer first in fact, that would make sense. I have my um, Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and the Bronzer Blusher from Miners which I've talked about at length and I absolutely love. Um, I, in this uni palette I have, I went to quite a lot of trouble today cutting out magnets, sticking them on so that I could put in my, what are these called? Why can't I remember the name of these things? What are they called? Ingla! Ingla! Okay, Ingla, Ingla, Ingla. <sighs> I went to quite a lot of trouble this morning uh, making sure that these all had magnets on the back because they only stick in the Inglot palette and I hate the Inglot palette. I was trying to get all the eyeshadows out and then I like dropped the whole palette and they all fell out and that's why this has got a big dent out of it. So I chose the four ones that I wanted eyeshadow wise. I also have a blush from Inglot and these are four shadows from MAC. But these are the ones I'm taking so I've kind of got my neutrals, a couple more neutrals and that's going to be my brow powder while we're away and then a pink, a pink, a purple and a blue. Um, just for a bit of an option. This is also another blush, so this is kind of, really it's the only blush that I'm taking because the other one's more of a, a highlight, but I like that it's a compact little pan, a compact little um, palette from Uni and it's really, really robust, so like you feel like it's really protecting the stuff inside, whereas all my other palettes don't, so this is the only one I would use for travel. The last few things that I have, um, I was going to take my um, Maybelline Colour Tattoo in to the bronze or bronze on bronze or whatever it's called uh, but I decided to take one of my MAC paint pots because I have two and I never ever use them they're never on my dressing table and this is Morning Frost and it's from the um, Christmas collection last year so I have that um, two lip products I have some more in my handbag let me know if you'd like to see inside my handbag when I'm traveling because I can film that whilst we're away I'll probably get this up and see your comments while I'm away um, the MAC Factor lip paint from Miners, and that's in peach again. Spoken about this to do to death. Spoken about this to death. I've talked you to death about this product in the past. I'm probably boring you. Um, and then impassioned by Mac. So I've got two colours, and then I have some kind of lip balmy kind of products and some others in my handbag. And lastly is my 24 hour extreme felt tip liner from Collection 2000, which I'm totally coming around to. Really, really like now. Oh, and I didn't mention I'm taking Mac Zoom Lash. Not my favourite mascara, but it's so tiny, I couldn't not take it. Let's see, maybe I'll, I'll really like it in four days. The last thing I want to mention are these, and it's the Impress Press On Manicure Nails. I haven't used these yet because I don't see the point um, for me in using these Impress Nails, mainly because I'm washing up all the time, I'm like tidying up after the kids and things, and they're just not going to last. It's supposed to last for up to a week, and I thought this might be ideal for going away. So, because I don't want to be worried about chipping my nail polish and having to redo it at night time or touching it up during the day even, um, I thought I will put on, I'm probably going to use the French manicure because I never have a French manicure. Um, I'll put these on tonight and see how long they last and then I will take the pink ones with me for in case they fall off or anything I have to redo them. But we will see how I like these but I've been saving them for this trip. Um, and of course I will be doing a review on my blog so look out for that next week. I'm feeling kind of ridiculous now because I completely forgot my brushes. Okay, this is the last thing I promise. This is the last thing I'm taking. I couldn't be without my brushes. These are the brushes that I decided to take and I might do a whole separate video on these because this is obviously my favourite selection of brushes. Um, but these are the brushes that I was going through thinking, what do I want to take? What will I feel like I need while I'm away? And these are the brushes that I came up with. So I've got like a, a main kind of big powder brush, but the one I got is from Sedona Lace because I use this for bronzer and I think it's a little bit thinner and a little bit more, you can define a little bit better with it. Um, this is my Duo Fibre from Sigma, 
This is a little kind of kabuki, what are these called? HD ones, what is it called, what is it called? Round top kabuki, it's an F82, um, which I could put my foundation on with, but I don't know whether or not I will because I think that um, the Healthy Mix does better with my fingers. Um, my blush brush, this is a brush that I use for underneath my eyes, powder underneath my eyes, which sounds like such a specific reason to have a brush, but I couldn't be without it. Um, this kind of domed brush is something I contour with or put a highlight on with. Um, something that I lay down powder with, lay down um, eyeshadow with, I blend with, my contour. And if you saw my Sedona Lace um, review, you'll be surprised to see that this is the Sedona Lace crease brush rather than my Sigma one. I've really come to like this, um, so we shall see. This might overtake Sigma in my favourite one. And the last three are real techniques. I have the shadow brush. The domed, what is this called? What is this called? Oh, it's not. Deluxe Crease Brush is what it's called. But I use this for concealer. And um, my all-time favourite eyebrow brush. Which is probably called an eyebrow brush. But they are the brushes that I am taking with me. And, um, well, I was going to say I'll do a separate video. But it seems like kind of pointless now because you've seen them. I will be washing them before I take them. Just because it's nice to do that occasionally. But I thought I would show you the brushes I was taking. Now I'm kind of talking you through it all, it sounds like a lot, but seriously, it's not at all. Um, this is just like not a lot of stuff. Um, other kind of toiletries like deodorant, um, razors, shower gel and things, that's going in Lee's bag because he just doesn't have as much stuff as me that he needs to take. And um, my hairbrush will go in my hand stuff, you know, my, um, what's the word? Hmm. Handbag, that's the word. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't appear. Um, I did a video on my vlog channel about what stuff I actually packed. And I didn't want to put my makeup on. I filmed the video. I look horrendous. I will link it below for you to go and see. So if you're interested in seeing what I actually packed clothes-wise for the trip, um, then go over to that channel and see. But I just didn't want to put my makeup on to make this video because I want a makeup-free day. As I explained in that video, and you'll see in that video why I didn't want to put my face in this video. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't just like going through the same stuff that I've spoken about before, but this is much, much, much more condensed because it's a shorter trip. But in truth, I could probably have taken this on my trip to Vegas. Really, I just kind of went overboard. This is as much as I would need for any length of trip. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please go subscribe, check out my other channel and subscribe to that channel too because all my vlogs and my outfit of the days and stuff are gonna go on that from the trip. 